next composition shows the original console, the fish console. There are five layers of, of console in the camera. Uh, this is the, the first one. The original console with Benedetto Cagliari's left arm is, is Benedetto. While holding the still non existent miraculous wine, as these were the left arm of his own brother when Paolo Cagliari was a lieutenant during the intermediate phase leading to second council rearrangement. I show you that. There is only one mention for the presence of Giorgione in the canvas. The protagonist of the central scene as designed by Veronese in origin. One century after the commission, Jean-Baptiste Colbert, minister of the King of France, visited the monastery in 1671. Two years later, he left us a testimony which had been part of the legend till the edition of our own works. According to the Venetian monks, Giorgio da Castelfranco was also present at Campo. The critical detail, which undoubtedly betrays the funeral sun mass, is still visible in our days in the center itself of the camera. This new Veronese's artifice, artifice consists in four fingers fitting beside the cornetist's back, which do not belong to any character in the current canvas. This hand is showing the nails. Mm -hmm. And the shorter, the shorter uh, finger is, the, is, is there, this hand is there, it's not there. It cannot be the property of the buffoon. It's impossible. And, and it is on, on the back of the, you may appreciate in, uh, even today, the control, the shape of the score. It's different shape. I show the that later. Uh, the spin of the score, which was reached by the vocal quartet, can be alike appreciated, sustained by one of the two cantadori di morte. The second monk's cat line behind him is currently the Jesus Christ seal. We think that Veronese recovered this key in the final design because he could conceal them as he did with the score. However, he left them incongruently visible. We have proposed the intentional negligence as suggested by Vasari, who left some elements unfinished with, with perceptive effects intention. The only authors who, re who refer to and describe the, the X-ray images of the canvas are Lola Fayan Duma and Peter Bassano, a descendant from the Venetian Bassano's musician family. It is supposed that the cornetist is Jacopo Bassano, but this is not sure. Fayan Duma was the author of the chapter devoted to analyze these images in the magnificent book edited by Louvre Museum in 1993. She described many altered elements in the underlying design, however, not in an articulate way, because at this moment, there was not a coherent model like this we are introducing here. There are any other publications on our topic. Giorgione's new tech box is exactly the hand of the current servant in between Jesus Christ and Mary, a hand which operates anything. It is just perched without apparent function. We have chosen the negative of the x rays because it's better definition for the Giorgione's new tech box and neck. This is the negative of the x -ray. At this point, we can already show the wall comp composition, except Benedetto Cagliari's engagement. The blue lute played on the keyboard box is our license. The performance left hand, left hand, excuse me, in green, it can be appreciated over the instrument in its correct position. This hand has established 
an artifact which led the expert to confession from its publication more than 50 years ago because it looks not here but in the neck it, it looks like to be settled over the neck of, of a future tenor violin just before Otite's arrival to San Giorgio Maggiore. I'll show you. The incorporated harpsichord is spared and left hand, linked to who it was believed to be the current Paolo, however, with crossed legs, generated an imposi impossible and a strongly leaned side door. This people. It's, it's impossible who produced any coherent nor harmonious sound. The true current Paolo's hand can be appreciated at the top of the neck. This is the left hand of the former harpsichordist, and not the and not the left the left hand. It's impossible to hold uh, a neck and show. Or it's impossible. It's impossible to be linked with. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, the final owners for the right clarissimus are uh, the, um, the final owners for the right clarissimus are will be the big drum Alfonso Diabalos. His own body, Paolo's Paolo Caliente's own body, as harpsichordist, will be inverted and attributed to Titian without mantle. Let us observe the same elements over the X-ray images, also in negative. This is in positive, this is in negative. Titian was primarily just the current Horace Buffon, while Pintoretto occupied exactly the space in between his partner Titian and the monk who sustained the score. We have called Paolo I Frankenstein to this former Paolo, because his dismantling, unlike that of his successor, Paolo II, also Frankenstein, generated different characters on wax, as we will show in some minutes, and again during, during our next presentation. Our generation of the standing silent lute, which rests on the keyboard box, can be observed in the foreground. This is our life. However, uh, it, it has its square angle tape box behind the current score over the table. This is the current score over the table, but not for Veronese. Veronese is looking to the Spanish inscription. This is of license. However, it is easy to appreciate loot from the sense for the configuration of the other dog. You know, the oval design was a, a resource to include and to conform many different people. We are showing the wall silhouette for the original console. The molding for the current Paolo allows to observe the position of the harpsichord player. In addition to Benedetto Cagliari's right arm extended over the harpsichord, uh, excuse me, Paolo Cagliari. This is the right arm of Benedetto. Uh, in the first, in the first console, the vocal quartet plus harpsichord, Benedetto has his right arm standing, holding a lute, one ceiling lute, uh, still appreciable in the X-ray images behind this. Mm -hmm. This what this arm this this arm was the link between music and painting during the first concert, when his left arm I show you in a summary, his left arm was painting the previous model in face of ben of Benedictine as we will show in the next section. The protagonist of the Sang Mass was in fact Giorgione. However, Veronese portrayed him inverted from his two known self-portraits. In our opinion, Paolo used, used that from Brunswick near them, as it was a Germanic property, the family who protected Giorgione at life. 
we are showing the superposition of our own designs obtained from the radiographies on top of the quoted self-portrait. Now, in fact, according to Vasari, this self-portrait was displayed in the Gimanis Art Gallery in the times of the wedding. We are showing the approximate character silhouette which occupied the place of Ortiz in the former design on top of Giorgione's self-portrait, inverted. As it was the case with Ortiz, we think that the general shape and aspect of the face and hair of both portraits show a surprising similarity, which is supported by a similar number of specific features. The, fa the facial features which we consider as concurrent are one, markedly curved profile of the nose, like to mine, two, size and proportion of the nose, three, little mouth with thin lips, four, left descending corner of the mouth, five, probable, probable position due to different angle, shape and size of the eyebrows, six, similar market age sockets, seven, wrinkle that descends from the left lagrimal, eight, shape of the chin, nine, receiving hairline with a right angle over the temple, ten, global contour of the face, eleven, global contour of the hair, twelve, global aspect of the hair. We have not a convincing hypothesis for the disappearance of Harsico and the vocal quartet dispersion, because the central scene must be accorded with the owners of commission already at the beginnings. Just the audacious, audacious idiosyncratic Veronese's maniera, that a consummate, consummate maestro in the technique of mix, mixturing sacred and profane, as he showed again, including a mass for the dead in the middle of an nuptial banquet. After four mutations of the central musical ensemble, Giorgione finally remained heated again, buried, behind the face of the new guest who arrived to San Giorgio Maggiore at the end of summer in 1563, the maestro de capilla of Neapolitan court, Diego Ortiz, whose ultimate face silhouette is shown in pink to the left. So, this was the painter's second 